Hi, in this video, I just want to give you a brief introduction about the application which I have been working on for, for past few months. So, uh, this is the Therma application and it is a Git uh, user, uh, graphical user interface where you can do all the Git stuff. And since the application is pretty new, so there are a few features which might be missing or which are still under process of the development. So, I'll just give you the brief example like how it works. Uh, so currently uh, you see the list of uh, the repository you have added over here and there is an option to you can drag and drop multiple uh, folders at the same time so it's kind of pretty helpful uh, so i'll just open this uh, this uh, repository and you can see uh, you will see all the changes over here but since there are no uh, changes so it is not showing you can see the history over here so this is just a dummy commit which have uh, created uh, the file and and then the stats over here so there are hardly any commits so that's the process okay so now what if i want to make some changes to the file uh, i mean to the repository and then i will commit those changes so i'll open the text editor and it should open the vs code as the text editor in a few minutes okay good so now over here I will just create a dummy file and then we will commit that file and we can see how it works uh, so that you can understand the process uh, in which uh, the thermal works. Okay, new file. So I will just uh, create a markdown file. Pause. Uh, we all have markdown. Okay. Uh, awesome title. And let's go. And now we can just minimize it. Okay, so you can see there is only one commit right now, and it should, yeah, cool. So you can see it is showing a new file has been created. Now I'll just select this file and commit a change. Uh, create new file, and then I'll just commit to the master. And if we just head back to the history, it should okay. Cool. You can see uh, the new commit has been created uh, with my uh, name, email address, and all the other details, uh, the date and the time, and even the commit hash, the tree hash, and the parent hash over here. And you can see this is the file which we have committed. So this is just a basic workflow of a thermal application, the way it works and there are a lot of uh, things uh, we can improve. So I welcome you to contribute to this open source project. Uh, you can find the source code of this uh, project uh, on GitHub. It is github.com forward slash git thermal forward slash thermal. So I'll just quickly type the URL over here. So it is github.com git thermal forward slash thermal. So the, pro uh, the project is totally open source and it is free to use and the best part is that it is cross platform, it works on Windows, Mac and Linux. So this is the, you know, that hardly happens you or maybe you know you, it hardly uh, find, you hardly find any application which works cross platform and it is free. So I think this project is kind of different in, a, in its unique way that it is a cross platform free and open source. So I guess you should definitely uh, definitely try it out and let me know what you think. And also I have built a uh, community on the Discord where you can just join in and you can just hop on, chat with me if you have any feedback or suggestion. Or even if you want to contribute and you have a few questions, you can just uh, post in the Discord and that would be really great. And there are a few other features which I have not uh, covered in this uh, video like there is uh, repository settings and maybe uh, there is this git command feature which i'm working uh, like you see like what are the, what are the commands which uh, the thermal application have run behind the scenes uh, earlier i was just committing i mean uh, say uh, console of those changes in the uh, in the they say console like in the uh, in the dev tools but uh, showing it over here it will help the user to understand that what is actually happening like if they run specific task like what command it is uh, what command uh, actually uh, please you run so in those sense it is very helpful and i'm still working on this feature uh, so i think the basic thing is done that uh, it creates the title like what is the actual command which is run like even if you don't type this command in the terminal it should uh, output the exact same thing and this is the different one so like it is pretty uh, a bit messy right now but i'm still working on it Okay, so over here you can see this is the git command we have run 
oh, sorry git commit like uh, it is git commit the name of the file which you want to commit and then the message itself pretty cool huh okay uh, yeah so I guess this is just a basic workflow so you can just uh, or even if you want to visit the website it's thermal.codecarry.net I will just uh, post all those links in the in the video description in the video description so don't forget to check out this project it's really awesome and I'm looking forward to meeting you in this call see you bye bye